Well, staying with the state capture report and four years later and over 800 pages of just part one of this report highlights serious inefficiencies in the country's state-owned entities. The findings lay bare what happened at the national carrier and its subsidiaries and how controversial former board chair Dudu Mieni got involved in operational matters when she had no business to do so. Heidi Jokos has more. It's evidently clear from part one of the State Capture Inquiry report that State Capture was alive in South Africa. State-owned entities were used to benefit only certain individuals, especially the Gupta family and not South Africans. The report finds that there was a steady decline in the quality and effectiveness of governance from 2012 onwards at the National Carrier, SAA. It found that while Dudumieni was the chairperson of the airline's board, she created a climate of fear and intimidation. The report finds that she was underperforming, incompetent and had a deliberate corrupt intent to dismantle governance. Chairperson of the inquiry, Raymond Zondo, says most of what was said about Mieni and how she was implicated is uncontested as she refused to answer. So it's more about what you know or what you don't know. May I then, uh, I, I, I appreciate that you are, you've given me clarity. Then can I then uh, invoke my privilege to say I, I would not like to respond to the question. The report highlights how SAA was made to fail, losing billions of rands because deals were either cancelled or changed at the last minutes with no explanation. Money was moved around from the free state government coffers to Dudumieni's son, to Mr. X's bank accounts, and finally into the accounts of Jacob Zuma Foundation. Yake Kuinana, who was a SA board member, wasn't spared in the state capture report. So how could you approve a contract that you did not know? Because I you have said you did not know that contract. I've just stopped you from going back to the 2012 contract now to remind you that Ms. Hoffman is talking about the March 2016 contract. Now, she has shown you a resolution. You agree that you approved. So how could you have approved a contract without knowing it? Um, considering that it is stated like this, Chair, if you say then I approved here, that is fine. Let us continue, Chair. No, but the question remains, how could you have approved a contract you did not know? Chair, I didn't think that this is a contract. I thought we were approving only the terms and conditions, not the whole contract. The whole contract would have the whole lot of Ms. Queen Nana. Including the price and everything. Ms. Ms. Queen Nana. And then the terms of conditions. Ms. Queen be, Nana, sir. you are a chartered accountant. You are a chartered accountant. Due to her lack of understanding of what she put her signature on, the report recommended that the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants should investigate whether Quinana has the requisite knowledge and appreciation of her obligations as a CA. The report also speaks to how even though a criminal charge has been made against Mieni for revealing the identity of Mr. X, no arrests have been made to date. The rest of part one, volume one, touches on SAA and its subsidiaries. Heidi Jokos, Johannesburg.